Welcome back guys to Filtering. Today is day one of a mini-series, which is going to be the Euro 2020 prediction or preview. We're going to be using Football Manager to preview each and every England game. And let's see how far I can go in the competition alongside how far Gareth can take England. And hopefully it's all the way. It's coming on, boys. I'm filming this on the morning of the first Croatia game. So obviously, I'm sure everybody is aware of what happened last night with Christian Eriksen. So, fast and speedy recovery for Christian Eriksen. Fantastic the way the Denmark team were. Couldn't be prouder of any of them. They should all be really proud of themselves the way they conducted themselves last night. Incredible that they got through the game after what happened. So yeah, let's get into the first game. England versus Croatia. These videos will be showed 24 hours before each group game. So I believe we play Scotland on Friday at 8 o'clock. So the preview video will drop for the Scotland game on Thursday at 8 o'clock. Right? Let's see how far we can take the boys. Right, guys. Let's get straight into the team selection for the game then. Croatia versus England. So, we've gone with Dean Henderson in goal. Back four of Kieran Trippier, Harry Maguire, John Stones, Ben Chilwell, Henderson, and I've got Mount in there as the Mazala. Sterling on the right hand side, Foden pulling the strings in the middle, Grealish surely has to start this game on the left, even though I don't think he will, I think Southgate's going to drop him, and I see him playing a more defensive side than this, and Harry Kane starting up top, right, let's get this game started, this series, it is going to be nice and quick, fast flown, not really going to be much in the way of outside of the games in this. It's just going to go straight into picking the team and getting the game done. Because a lot of people will click onto this and just simply want to see it as football manager previewing the game. Do these daft little things. So here we go. Croatia versus England. Cannot wait for this. What are everybody's plans for the day then? How many people are... Because that many people have setups now in the back garden where they've got almost like pop-up pop -up bars in the back garden. I know that's where I'm going to be going and watching the game. Going round a, a mate's house. It used to be where the pubs would be packed out for an England game at the Euros, but since COVID, I think everybody's converted the sheds into bars almost. Here we go. To Forden. Forden to Henderson. Chilwell. Back to Mount. Mount over the top. Is Grealish. Good tackle. I think even though we talk about how good our attacking players are, which they are fantastic. I believe we'll get we'll get out the group. Whatever formation or players we use. Chilwell's through. And there we go. An unlikely goal scorer. Will we see Ben Chilwell score today? I bet that's got some good odds. Chilwell, first goal scorer. 
Yeah, but going back to what I was saying, I believe the as good as we are attacking, we need John Stones to have a really, really strong Euros. I believe if John Stones plays well, we win it. That's how important I see him at the back. With Maguire not being fully fit, he's going to have to be really on it and razor sharp for any breaks coming, especially when we get into the bigger teams of the tournament. Once we get through to like a Germany or a France or an Italy, you saw the way Italy played the other night. There we go, 2-0. Make an easy work of this. Raheem Sterling off that right-hand side. Yeah, I just think a team who can break away, we're going to need John Stones to be mentally switched on and, and picking up them players running. Because we know what Maguire's good at. He's not fantastic in a foot race. So really going to need that anticipation of John Stones. Like here where he's just sat a little bit deeper. Maguire's gone out to get the man's missed it. We could see a lot of this in this tournament because he won't be match sharp. it would be a long way from match sharp. I don't see Ford and having a bad tournament. Kane's through, 3-0. Just imagine, boys. Imagine if it's 3-0 before 18 minutes has even been played. Should mention we are playing a custom Tiki Taka player. There is some slight differences in the normal Tiki Taka. I just feel like for once, and probably I'd even go back to when we had Gerard, Lampard, Scholes, although Scholes didn't, he didn't really get the opportunity at the international stage. He probably would have been one player who could play this kind of formation. But this is the first time we've really got, we've got the Mounts, we've got the Fordens, we've got the Grealishes, who are that good at the short passing game. I wouldn't say Sterling is particularly fantastic at it, but he is used to it in that City team. And he has got a lot better on his short game and is bringing other players in than when he was, say, at Liverpool, when he was just almost a one-trick pony. Three nil. There we go. So Chilwell's picked up an injury there, so we will just do Quick substitution, like for like. Luke Shaw on for him. Which is a pr pretty simple change. I mean, that that is the one position where it was a, a coin flip. And I think it is for most people. A lot of people are making a big deal about that left-back position between Shaw and Chilwell. I don't see a massive difference between the two. I think Luke Shaw potentially is a little bit better defensively. And Chilwell, I believe, is better going forward. Sterling back post. Oh, he's saved. But yeah, guys, in the comments, let me know how far do you think this England team can go? Can we win it? Do we get to the final? semi-final, quarter-final. Is there anybody out there who doesn't even think we get out of the group? We've got another highlight. Change this down to key highlights. I don't know why it was on uh, extended. That might be why this half has gone on for quite some time. Mm. 
The only thing we might have to do is make a couple of changes in that central midfield position. Henderson and Mount both on the yellow card. And the reason why I'm playing Mount a little bit deeper in that Mazala role is I, I believe he can play there and he has played deeper for Chelsea. But I just think that him and Jude Bellingham in that position are so interchangeable. Them just, and they're intelligent enough to just sit, sit behind the attacking four and know when to make them runs. And the same with Bellingham. With Bellingham, with someone like a, we know Jordan Henderson's probably not going to play a massive part in the tournament. But if he did, just sat next to him, telling him when to go, when to stay. But I, I believe Declan Rice, even though he's young, he again has the experience at this level to just say, right, make that run. I'm okay. Make that run. See if you can get on the end of the second ball. There's a lot of people seem to be fearful of this Croatia team, which I kind of understand. But then again, you look at the players. I mean, Pramaric couldn't make it at Leicester City. Decent player. I mean, I don't know a massive amount about him, but I know before Leicester City signed him, he was mid-table, Bundesliga side, banging in the goals, but never prolific. Still got Lovren, you know, Modric, as fantastic a career as he's had. How old is Modric now? What we're going to do, we'll pause that highlight there. Just in case it goes out, we'll make a few substitutions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring Declan Rice on. Jordan Henderson. And I think rather than rather than having him as a box to box, I'd rather just have him. Yeah, I'm just gonna have him sat there as a ball winning midfielder. He doesn't make need to make them runs. This game's over. Just put him down there as support. So he gets he gets up there and joins the the attack, but almost from a defensive point of view. And I'm going to bring Jude Bellingham on in that Mazala role. As said before, I just think that's the perfect role for him in central midfield. As Sterling cuts in, he comes up on that right hand side as another creative outlet. And especially if we do play a Kyle Walker at right back and say, protect Maguire throughout the tournament. I think that's a fantastic asset to have Bellingham making them runs, making that overlap option for whoever's on that right-hand side, and just have Kyle Walker just sit there. I'm also going to bring Kyle Walker on. And I'll just put him down as that defensive mentality. And we'll leave it at that for now. Confirm them changes. We'll get this corner out of the way. Why we have behind the goal. Director's choice. Ford to Sterling. Grealish on the other side, whips it in. Foden gets his first goal of the campaign. And it's 4-0 England. The country will be going absolutely wild if this happens. 
There we go. Sterling just making that run. That's very Sterling-esque, isn't it? Makes a fantastic run, gets himself to the byline, whips it in, can't pick out a player. But it is a dangerous enough looking cross. So we've got one more sub we can bring on. So who's looking tired? Grealish is there. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring Rashford on. Bring Rashford uh give Rashford fifteen minutes. But I mean if you look at the XG, we haven't massively dominated them. We do have nearly sixty percent possession. So it's just the added quality that we have. Like I say we do have a fantastic squad. Player for player, I think it has to be the best squad. I really do. I know people say about the French squad, but I just I don't fancy them at this tournament. I don't know why. Because they do have some really good players. Sterling tracking back. Eighty-eighth minute, four nil England. Full time. So there we go, guys. Is that the accurate prediction of today's game? fantastic if it was wouldn't it 4 nil to start the group and as I said during the game if this man has a good tournament John Stones I believe we win it it's so important at centre back for us now with Maguire not being fully fit let the guys know Happy with the result and the performance. So yeah, guys, there we go. 4-0 victory. That is my prediction for today's game. We'll have episode number two with the Scotland game on, I believe it will be released on Thursday at 8 o'clock. I believe with the 8 o'clock kickoff on Friday night. So yeah, come on England, it's coming on boys, see you in the next one.